Hello, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to see how to spread the file from one position to another position. So first we'll take a geometry node and just go inside. So now we will browse the model for which we are going to use fire. Uh, so just we'll import the model by using the file node. So we can import like OBJ or FBX file. So select this. So from here, I will browse the model. So in the geometry, we need to browse the model. So this is a model I'm going to use. So just click on accept. So now the model is very big. Uh, so just we'll decrease the size of this model. So in order to do that, just we'll take a node called like match size. So select this. And in the match size, uh, just we need to enable this option called like scale to fit. So select this. And now we will go to the model. So just by pressing H, we will just focus the model. And now I will rotate this. Uh, so for that, I will take an transform node. And in this transform, just I will give the value like 90 in the X axis. So just it will rotate. And also I will disable this UV texture. Okay. Yeah. And next, what the thing is, we need to convert the model into points. So for that, I will take an like pyro source. So select this and connect here. And now see it has been converted into points. And here uh, the mode, I will select it to like surface scatter. So, and also just we will increase the particle separation. So just I will give the value to like 0 0.01 or something. So now we got this particles. So now as we want the fire should start from one position to like end of this model. So let's say I want to start the fire from this uh, this position here. So for that, I will create a group node. So take a group node and connect to this. And in the group node, just I will uh, select the group type to like points and also we give the name like spread and also I will disable this base group and now we will enable this keep bounding in region so just enable this thing and now the box is very big so we need to change the size of this box so let's say I will give the value to like 0 0.1 or something in all the axis and now we need to change the position so in order to change just I will use this thing uh, so just let's say I want to start the object like fire from this position so we need to overlap this. Okay. Let's say now I want to start the fire from this position. So the fire will spread around this model from this position to the end of the model here. And also now we need to create the temperature for this model. So as we are going to create the flame, so just we need to create. So for that, we will take a node called attribute create. So select this. And in this attribute create, we will give the name to like temperature. And here we need to select the group name. Uh, so as we have created the temperatures, as we have created the spread, so just we need to select this and click on this spread here. And down if you see there is a value, so just I will give the one. And the remaining everything should be default. And next, uh, there is an important note. So what the thing is, as we want to start the file from this thing, so it has to spread around the model here. So for that, we will take a node called like pyro source spread. So select this and we need to select this pyro source spread. So connect here. And just enable this. And now we will see, so suppose if you go to this burn option, now you can see uh, it is going to start from this position. Now, if you click on this play, so nothing will happen. Uh, so what the thing is just we need to decrease the cooling rate. So let's say I will give the value to like 0 0.3 or something. And now we will click on this play. So see now it is going to spread around the model here. So it depends on your model. We need to change the value of this cooling rate here. And also if you want to spread it more randomly. Uh, so now see uh, if I click on this play. So just let me enable the real time, real time animation. So now it is spreading like constant. So I want to spread it like randomly. So if you go to this diffusion rate in the pyro spread, so here you can see there is an option like element size. So let's say I will uh, decrease it to like 0 0.3 or something. So we'll see this. So see now uh, it is going to spread it randomly. And next what the thing is, we need to create the fire uh, instead of this thing. So just I will like go to this diffusion and you can see uh, we got this random. And now what the thing is, uh, for this, we need to take a node called like 
volume rasterize attributes. So this will create the fire. It means like, say, uh, if you enable this now, and now here we need to select the attributes. So in the attributes for this volume rasterize, we need to select the like burn and also we need to select the temperature. So now we will see this. So see now it is creating this uh, smoke kind of effect here. And also what the thing is in the volume rasterize attribute, we need to uh, like increase the voxel size. So just we'll match this thing. So in the pyro source, we'll copy this parameter and just we'll go to this volume rasterize and we will paste onto here. Just I will go to the first frame and right click paste relate to reference. So that now we will get the good resolution for this smoke here. Okay. And now what the thing is just we need to convert it into fire. Uh, so for that, I will take a node called like pyro solver. So just take an pyro solver and just connect here. And just connect here. And also for this pyro solver, see now we got this fire. So if you click on this play, so we are getting this fire here. But we need to increase the voxel size for this pyro solver as well. Uh, so here, if you select the pyro solver, you can see there is an option like voxel size. So just I will paste that thing. So just I will go to the first frame and right click. Paste relative reference. So we got this thing here. So just we'll see now. So before that, make sure you have to save and click on this play. And see now we got this nice fire effect here. And if you pause, uh, now you can see this. And now we can change the intensity of this fire. Uh, we can increase or decrease. And also we need to change the lifespan of this fire. So the, the fire is going very long to the y-axis. So just we need to increase uh, decrease the lifespan of this fire here. So now you know to increase and decrease the intensity of the fire. If you select this pyro solver and you can go to the option called like look here. So now you can see there is an option like uh, intensity scale. So if you want, you can increase or decrease the intensity of this fire. And also uh, first I will decrease the lifespan of this uh, fire here. So in order to do that, we can go to the field option. And here you can see there is an option like flame. So in the flame, you can decrease the lifespan. Let's say we give the value to like 0 0.3 or something. So now we will see this. Uh, still, uh, it is very high. So just we will give the value to like 0 0.2 or something or just like 1. Let it be like an 0 0.1. And now we will see this. Okay. So now it is good. And also if you want to see it better, just I will change the background uh, color. So in order to change the background color, we can go to this option. And here in the eye icon, you can select this option like background and here uh, we can select it to like dark. So now we can uh, see the fire better. So I will play now. Okay. okay. So now we got this nice fire. And now what the thing is the flame is going uh, in the like constant, like in the Y direction. I want to create some sort of disturbance for this fire, like a, like a turbulence. So in order to do that, just we can go to the pyro solver. So if you go to this shape option, uh, here you can see there is an option like disturbance turbulence. So just I will enable this turbulence and shredding. So let's say I will give the value to like one in the disturbance. Let's say shredding, I will give the value to like 16. So see now we got this random fire uh, effect here. So if you want, you can add the turbulence too. So if you enable this turbulence, just we can increase the turbulence little bit. And also, if you want, you can increase the swell size, but at present, let it be like a default. So just, and now we'll see this. Okay, so we got this nice. And also still, I want to see the intensity of the fire a little bit more, means like, see, it is just like fading out. So I want to increase the intensity of this fire uh, when it is going to fade out. So in order to do that, just we can go to this look option. Uh, here we can see there is an option like fire intensity ramp so that I will increase the ramp so that still I can able to see the proper fire here. So like, so just we can see it properly. Okay. And now we will see this. So now we got this nice uh, fire effect here. And also I want to hide this bounding box. So we can go to this option and just enable this put shading. Okay. 
And also, if you want to change the color of the fire, if you select this pyro solver and if you go to the look option and here you can see there are some different types of ramps. So for timing, uh, it has been like color mode. So if you want to change, you can change it to like physical black body so that it will change. And here you can increase and decrease the intensity. So it's, it depends on you what type of effects you want here. And we have another option like a uh, plant black body here so just think so for timing i will go to the color ramp here and in case if you want to change the color you can change the color here and now what the thing is just i want to create the blue flame here it means like uh, whenever it is going to burn in the board or borders of this fire it has to be create some blue kind of uh, flame here uh, so first i will create an output for this uh, so just will take a null node so in case just if you want to uh, like render or if you want to apply the material so just We'll name it as like flame. Okay. And now we'll go back. So just we'll name it as like flame. And now if you click on play, then it will play. So now what the thing is, we need to create the blue fire for this thing here. So just in order to create the blue fire. So just we'll create and copy for this. So just like control C and control V. So just I will name it as like blue flame. And I will uh, disable for timing. So now we will go inside. So here, what the thing is, just I will change the color of this fire here. So let it be like in 20 frames. So now we will change the color of the fire here. So now in order to change the color of the fire, just we will select this uh, pyro solver. So now here, instead of this orange, just we will double click and we will give the blue flame. So now we got this thing. And now what the thing is, I want to create the blue flame only on the borders of this thing here. So what we'll do is just we'll change the positions of this ramp. So let it be like an blue over here. Okay. And if you want, you can increase the intensity of this thing. Okay. But I want only to create the borders here. Uh, so for that, what we'll do is, just will decrease the lifespan of this uh, fire here. So like if you select this pyro solver and if you go to into field here, so like here we can decrease the 0 0.01 or something. Okay. So still like 0 0.001. So now we'll play this. Okay. Okay, now this is okay. Now it is creating nice borders. Uh, so let it be like a 0 0.02. Okay, so now see it is creating only the borders around these edges here. And we can increase this intensity scale. So I want a little bit more intensity and just let it be here. Okay, yeah. So now we got this thing. So if you click on this play, so we got this nice blue borders here. So uh, like we will go back now. So we'll save this file. And if you enable this now, and now we'll get this blue flame with the fire. So see now we are getting nice uh, blue flame around this edges of this fire here. So now we'll comp this uh, model too. So just we'll enable the model. So for that, what I will do is just I will make a copy for this uh, anything like control C and control V. And before this, I will disable all this and control V. And here I will just uh, remove all the pyro solver nodes here. So just select this and like delete. And now we got this only the model. And now if you go back, so we'll see for the model now. See now the fire is going to spread on the model properly. So in this way, we can spread the fire on to the model on the selected models here. And also we can increase the voxel size. So it depends on your system configuration. So as for this lesson, uh, so the voxel size which I have used is fine. So if you want to create more resolution and if you want to change the colors, you can play with the values for the pyro solver. And if you want to create the flip book, uh, just like I will set the position. And now just if you want to create the flip book for this thing, so we can use this option here, flip book. 
So before that, I will save this and you can click on this flip book. And here, if you want to change any settings, you can make some settings. Like if you want to increase the resolution, you can increase the resolution. For timing, let it be like a default. And just I will click on this start here. Now it is going to start uh, render this thing like in the flip book. So now we got this nice flip book render. So the fire is going to spread on the model properly. So in this way, we can spread the fire on the models. And if you want to see how to render the fire using the karma, so you can watch my previous videos. Just I will put the link in the description. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.